So what inspired you to be a football player? Uh, you know, I grew up in a house, you know, full of athletes. My dad played football back in the day. My mom ran track. Um, so it was kind of like I was, you know, I was born into it, uh, you know, from day one. Um, you know, I was just heavily involved in sports, not just football, but, you know, I did basketball. Uh, I ran track. I played soccer. I played baseball. I played all of them. Yep. But, uh, you know, I just had a passion for football, you know, even before I could actually get out there and play, you know, when I was young. I used to always be on the side, like, man, I can't wait to my chance. And, uh, you know, when I got out there, just the love, you know, the natural instinct for the game, just I had a natural passion for the game. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, believe it or not, man, first I wanted to play basketball. You know, I had the height, I had the size. I was like, ah, but football came a little bit more natural to me. Uh, you know, I loved to, you know, I love to hit people, man. I love the physicality of it. And I just loved everything about it. You know, the hard work, the team, team atmosphere, and, um, you know, how it takes 11 guys. Uh, to accomplish one goal. I, I know where you're coming from about uh, how you get into it like that. And I like the physicality. And another thing that I thought uh, was important, at least for me, is having played all the other sports. Right. I played other sports so that it, because you couldn't play football year round. Exactly. And what it it, for me. when it does, it helps you and other things, yeah. you know, but it all relates back to football. It does. You know, playing basketball, your quickness and stuff yeah, like that. 100%. Yeah. So what what brought about coming to Chicago? I mean, guys like yourself, oh, man. I mean, it's it. legends. You know, I'm stop not just it. saying this because we're on camera, man, but it's just legends, man. I wanted to be a part of that. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy that I show respect to the guys that came before me because if we don't, you know, that's what we mold our game around. You know, us young guys, you know, looking at guys that came before us. So uh, I think just carrying on that tradition, not so much to – you know, to 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 try to be exactly like you, but right, to right. take parts right. of your game, take parts of, you know, the Singletary's, the, the Erlackers, everybody, and just kind of put it into my game. Uh, but I think just being a linebacker, man, I mean, you want to follow greatness. And that's what I've been about all my life, and that's what I'm about now, just following great greatness and being, you know, at an atmosphere, being at a place that obviously produced great linebackers, and, you know, I want to be the next one. Well, the mark, uh, the mark you would make, I, I mean, I think you're you're on the right track. There's no, I played you know whatever, how many nine years or whatever in high school and college. There's, I uh, well I know for a fact I never played a perfect game. Right. I don't give a damn how well I played or whatever. There's always something I could have done better. Mm -hmm. I mean even to a point where you know I could have maybe thrown a better block when. We had our defensive back intercepted a pass. I maybe could have put a better block on somebody. And once you have that, no matter how long you've been playing or how many all-star teams and all pros and everything else, that's the carrot. You know, I'm always going to, when I'm sitting in that room, you know, people may not see that, you know what, I, God damn it, I could have maybe went over there right. if I would have done this or done that yep. or not you know, don't pull up short or whatever. So uh, I think if you had that kind of attitude, you're you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have some success. I saw. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you ever saw this NFL Films video. It's a screen grab. Your infamous bloody hands. Yeah. Do you remember that? Dick? And what is? What uh, mine? Well, it's it. I always. Um, you use your hands to, to, you know, avoid the blockers. You know, it, it's different today because they can grab you and everything else. They, they couldn't grab you, so you use your hand to push them back. Or sometimes I might get the face mask. You never know. Right. <laughs> Give a yank before anybody. Hey, it's, a, it's a violent game out there, man. <laughs> yeah. Because of seeing that other picture, you see that forearm yeah. thing? You know, there's this, I don't know, maybe quarter inch uh, like white plastic and you know those hydroculators where you put the, like the heating pa uh, a big pad into the hot water and then you know you put yes. it on yep. well I used to take measure measure my forearm and take that plastic and put it in there so it got soft and then I molded from my hand and then right. put a little sponge on the bottom and then just tape that's smart, yeah. I'm telling you. Because <laughs> back then. Got that advantage. Because back, <laughs> back then, you know, you could clothesline people. Right. 
And uh, so finally they did, they caught me. The referee came up one time. And he's like, <laughs> he's like oh, what minute. you got here? <laughs> so those were the good old days. Now it's all changed. Yeah, that, that leads me to the next question I have for you. What's the biggest difference you see in today's game versus back when you played? I, I, I well, I know why, uh, because the, the game is so much more open, uh, yeah. but the hitting, right. it's grab, it's grab <laughs> ass, or I'm going to throw so a block right. into you and hope you go down. Right. You know, I was a fullback in high school, and what bugged me when I was running the ball was, you know, somebody grabbing me, like bear hugging me. Mm-hmm. And now I've got the ball and I got, he's got me wrapped up here in a bear hug and, and down we're going. And it's a natural reaction. I, hey, I, I'm gonna, how do I break my fall here? Well, I got a 50-50 chance that I'm gonna put the hand down with the ball and the ball's gonna pop out. Right. And I started thinking, wait a minute, that, that, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Right. Okay, so uh, in high school, you know, it was really easy. You know, guys would be in the backfield and they're looking where they're gonna go. and. Right. Then I thought, well, okay, we're gonna get to college and now these guys aren't gonna be doing that anymore. Same thing, they tip in. And the same thing in the pros. You find guys that'll look where they're going and give you a tip. And uh, so I would always try to hit, you know, put my helmet right in your throat, Mm -hmm. figuring if you're quick enough, you can maybe get to my side and I can still have you this way or you go this way. But if I hit you, you know, nobody likes to get hit and put on their back. Right. And I don't care if you're a pro or not a pro, you'll remember that and you'll start looking at that and then you'll start forgetting about the ball. The main thing you want to do is get the damn turnovers. Yeah, you know? 100%.